Hi there and welcome to Loopy Mabel Crochet. My name is Jane and welcome to my crochet channel. In today's video is going to be tutorial. I've had some requests following on from my Primrose ear warmer. Put the link for that up there and the Primrose wrist warmer link up there. And you've asked me if I could do a matching cowl. So today's tutorial is just going to be that. So stay tuned. back so before we go on to the tutorial I just want to show you what I'm wearing today and what Mabel's wearing today. Mabel is wearing uh, the Sweet Georgia ruffle capelet which I absolutely love this design it's got such a lovely drapey design and it's got those two little bands of ruffle and I'm wearing the honeycomb shoulder snug another one of my favorite designs it's just so snug and cozy pop it over your head goes with lots of things in my wardrobe this is an absolutely brilliant color because it coordinates with lots of things in my wardrobe so I am wearing the honeycomb today so let's go over to the camera and let's start our crochet tutorial okay so in today's tutorial we're going to be making the matching cowl that goes with the primrose wrist warmers and also the primrose ear warmer so I'm going to be using the same yarn that I used for the tutorial for the e-warmer and the wrist warmer but you can use any double knit yarn uh, but I'm making a set for myself so I'm just going to continue with the same yarn so I'm going to be using this gorgeous old-fashioned blue colour in the Drops Lima double knit yarn it's got a mix of alpaca and wool so it's a really nice snuggly yarn but as I say you can use any double knit yarn and that's the pattern stitch we're going to be doing but in the cowl I also recommend if you're new to crochet your stitch marker you need some sewing in needles and you need some scissors and we're also going to be using a five millimeter hook so hopefully you've got all those things ready so let's make a start okay so let's make a start off oh, you're just wondering what's happened to my hand I went absolutely flying on the path yesterday and landed on my hand so it's all cut and saw but luckily it's not my crochet hand so we're absolutely fine <laughs> just a little bit sore right so let's start off with our slip knot so you make your slip knot whichever way you know how I do have a tutorial if you're just joining me today and we're going to chain 94 so yarn over pull through yarn over pull through yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and that is how you make your chain and if you notice the chain forms like a v-shape in your stitches just show you the chain creates that v-shape and that is your stitch when you're counting so you're counting the v-shapes if you just especially if you're new to crochet and you're not sure what you're counting that is what you're counting that little v-shape and if you turn your work over you have a bar on the back of each V stitch so you could count the bars if you turned your work over and count those bars instead but I like to count the V stitches so we're going to continue on with our chain until we've got 94 so I leave you and I'll see you at 94 chains okay so hopefully you've got to your 94 chains and what we're going to do is we're going to join this chain to the very beginning that we started so all you need to do is just ensure your work doesn't get twisted so what I like to do is just run my finger down the chain to make sure it's kept straight and I know it's not twisted I'm going to insert my hook into that very first chain that we started off I'm just going to slip stitch to form the ring and that is going to be the width or the size of your cowl just big enough to pop over your head and sit snugly around your neck I've designed it so it sits snugly around your neck not the like the bigger style cowl 
um because this the whole idea is obviously to keep the draft off your neck so this is a proper snug cowl so there we go so we've formed our ring and we've ensured it's not twisted so we're now going to go on to our first row okay so before we continue on with the pattern i uh, just want to explain that this tutorial is in uk terms so if you're watching from outside the uk you need to be aware of the fact of that so when I mention double crochet, it means single crochet to you guys in the US. And also when I mention treble, it would be double crochet. So we're going to chain one. And that does not count as a stitch at all through this tutorial. And we're going to go down into that very first chain. And we're going to work a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. So we're going to go down to that chain. And I'm going to work over that tail there, bring that in. I'm going to do a double crochet and I'm just going to insert the stitch marker into that first stitch. Th then this will show where we're going to slip stitch into when we come back around. I highly recommend using stitch markers when you're new to crochet because it does identify the stitches for you and you're not struggling where to insert your hook. So we've done one double crochet, so we're going to do two chains. And we're going to go back down to that same stitch and work one more double crochet. And we're going to skip two, so skip two chains. We're going to go down into the next and work double crochet, chain two, double crochet. So then we're going to skip two, we're going to go down into the next and work double crochet, chain two, double crochet. And we're just going to repeat this all the way along. So skip two, one, two, insert your hook into the next, work double crochet, chain two, and back down to the same stitch with a double crochet. And you get that lovely wavy edge effect. If I leave you to work all the way along to the other end, I shall see you somewhere around about here. And we should be left with two stitches that we're going to skip. So I shall see you somewhere around about here and I'll show you how to finish off this row. So I'm just coming to the last part. So I've just done a double crochet, chain two. So I'm just going to do one more double crochet into that same stitch. And you should be left with two chains, one, two. And we're going to slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet that we did at the beginning. So obviously if you hadn't put your stitch marker in, you could be wondering where on earth do I insert my hook? So that's why I do recommend you use the stitch markers. Even I like to use them and I know what I'm doing and I still like to use them. So I'm just going to take the stitch marker out but I'm just going to keep my finger in place because that's where you're going to insert your hook. So you're just going to insert your hook to the top of that first stitch. And just slip stitch to close that round. And there's our first round. I just love that edge it gives. Right, so we've just got... We're going to go on to round two and there's only two rounds of the pattern so super simple and really effective so again we're just going to chain one we're not going to chain, we're not going to turn our work chain one which doesn't count as a stitch and we're going to work, be working now into that two chain space that we've created in those tiny little stitches that we did so remember we did a double crochet two chain double crochet so in there is your chain two space so we're going to be working into that space so we're going to yarn over and we're going to be working three trebles three trebles into that space so yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two again yarn over back down yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through and one more time so you've got your three trebles in that chain space and we're going to repeat this all the way to the end so again yarn over find the next chain two space that we did you can see there's a double crochet and there's the other double crochet and in the middle is your two chain space so working in there three trebles insert your hook and work your three trebles
So just going to repeat this all the way along. Super simple. So insert into the next. Work three trebles. One. Two. Three. All the way along. So if I leave you to continue working your three trebles into every chain two space. Just like that. And I shall see you somewhere towards the last chain two space that we have. And then we will st stitch close. Sorry, I didn't put the stitch marker in. What am I like? Sorry, insert the stitch marker. Make sure you put the stitch marker in after your first treble. So there's our first treble there. So I should have put that in for you. So yeah, so I, sh I shall see you somewhere towards the end of our last chain two space. And then we shall slip stitch to close round two. So I'm just coming to the last chain two space, putting my three trebles in. So I've just got one more to do. And I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of that first treble. And we've got round two. So for round three, it's going to be the repeat of round one, but just slightly different where we place our hook. So we're just going to chain one and that doesn't count as a stitch. And we're just going to go into the middle of the three trebles now and work double crochet. Insert your stitch marker. Chain two. Double crochet. And then we're going to go down into the next middle treble and work double crochet. Chain two double crochet and we're just going to repeat that all the way along working into the middle treble of the three trebles of the row below so insert the top of the middle one double crochet chain two double crochet and we're just going to repeat that all the way along and when we come back to here we're just going to slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet and for the next row we just repeat the three treble row working into the chain two space that we did and we just repeat those two rows so we do three trebles into the chain two space and the following row we do double crochet chain two double crochet into the top of the middle of the three trebles slip stitch to the end to close for each row so if i can leave you to work those two rows until you have worked approximately 21 rows and you need to finish ending on the double crochet chain two row and i shall see you somewhere towards the end of that last row okay so i'm almost at the end i've just got a few stitches to go so i've just got last set of stitches in this last one there i'm just going to slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet that we did at the beginning and that just finishes off and i'd just like to end on that row because it just finishes the top and the bottom with that lovely wavy edge there and all we need to do now is cut the yarn and pull it through and we just need to sew in our ends and I'll just quickly measure it for you just to give you an idea of the measurements and it comes to 21 centimeters 21 centimeters and there is our lovely primrose cowl to match our wrist warmers and our e-warmer so i hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on how to make the primrose cowl i won't pop it on over my head because it's not going to go with what i've got in today but there is the lovely cowl that goes so well with the matching wrist warmers tutorial for that and for the primrose ear warmer both tutorials up there on my channel so go and check those out if you haven't already seen them but it just makes absolutely brilliant set great to make for gifts too as a set or individual items for gifts 
Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me that lovely thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe. And if you're not a subscriber, if you enjoy my crochet tutorials and all my designs, then please join me and subscribe to my channel. Now, if you would like to support me even further, you can always go over to my coffee account. I'll put the link for that too. And once you're over there, all you need to do is donate a few pounds, buy me a virtual coffee. All monies that you donate to me are greatly appreciated and I'm just going to plough all that money back into growing this channel, buying lots more yarn, new crochet hooks and all the things that I need for my channel. So I really do appreciate when you do um, buy me a coffee. Thank you so much. But there's no pressure. I love what I do anyway. All my tutorials are always free, obviously, and I do put a lot of work into my designs and you can also download the PDF patterns which are all in my um, online shop loopymablecrochet.com and you can get all the patterns there for a few pounds too. So I'm off to do another tutorial. I've got lots more designs in my design book. If you can think of anything that you'd like me to cover or anything that you're looking for always drop me a link in the box below and I will put it on my list and I will try and get it done for you. So until the next time though as I always always say Practice makes perfect, at the end of the day it's only crochet, pull it out, start again if you can't get it right the first time and always happy crochet.